Hey, good morning, everybody. Froggy Stonks here. Nothing I say is financial advice, entertainment purposes only. By now, everybody's seen that there is another lawsuit on the table filed by Kevin Barnes. Uh, per market screener, it says Kevin Barnes, individual shareholders, said in the lawsuit that AMC is required by its corporate bylaws to hold a meeting each year and that its last annual meeting was June 16, 2022. He asked the Delaware Chancery Court to require AMC to hold its next annual meeting by August 18th, which is respectable. This is good. I'm usually not for, you know, random lawsuits dropping in the middle of conversion. This is a good thing. AMC should be holding its annual meeting in a timely manner. Uh, it's pretty obvious, in my opinion, why they haven't is because Ape has not converted. They want the decision to be finalized so that they can come out and say they did a good, everybody looks good, they raise a bunch of money. That way, Adam Aaron and said uh, board members can vote in their next compensation package type deals and, and things like that. That's, the, you know, they got a bad rap last time that we voted on the compensation packages because the stock was doing nothing but going down. And Adam Aaron got a little mad about it. He got a, he got a little slap on the wrist for it, so... Uh, market screener saying AMC spokesperson did not immediately respond to requests for comment. They're not going to, it's a big corporate business. They have lawyers. They know they don't have to respond. This lawsuit is in my opinion, good, but more than likely Kevin Barnes is probably just looking for some type of, uh, platform to kind of shine on a little bit, maybe even some type of potential settlement, even though he's just suing for the annual meeting to be held by August 19th, which in my opinion, I think good on him for this one. The annual meeting should be held. If your catalysts as CEO do not arrive on time because of poor planning or because you're late to the show in a wrinkly dollar general suit covered in stains from food, then yeah, you should be sued. And I think Adam Aaron is one for the amount of money he's made off of us, 30, $40 million, He's a slob. Two, he's late to the game every single time. And three, he's just low energy. He's low energy, tired. He only tweets when it's good for him, when he thinks he's on the winning side of something. And then any time that anybody gets in his way and something doesn't go his way, he throws a tweet tenter, temper tantrum storm. So in my opinion, he needs to step his game up or step down. That That's my opinion. But we're still waiting on Judge Zern. She has up to 90 days, apparently, which means September 28th would be the 90th day, uh, non-business included, to make this decision. But I would say, just out of respect to Judge Zern also, I understand the amount of trials and tribulations that this hearing took because of some individuals who wanted to make it a bigger deal than it was. But there are a ton of retail investors that are just trying to get out of AMC. There's a lot of them that are ready for this catalyst to happen because they want to convert and stay long-term in AMC, regardless of which side, which stock you own, AMC or Ape. The retail investors are suffering every single day this is put on hold because it's giving said bad actors that you heard about in the hearings, the, the naked short sellers, the people doing total return swaps, the bondholders, namely. The bond holders are long the bonds, which are now yielding 39%. They're short AMC. They're long on APE. The longer this goes out, the more time they have to correct and build their position and or their friends come back to the table and go, oh, hey, man, we actually do need some APE. We didn't know we were naked short this thing until a week ago. Because what happens is you have big funds who have umbrellas and then people under them. And you don't know everybody that's working there. You can be a big bank and have a fund under your umbrella and one guy on that fund team that's naked short and nobody knows it until it's too late and it can upset an entire bank. It's happened before. So these guys are coming to the table later and later every day saying, hey, we do need ape. We do need some shares. One second. Of course, my vacuum wants to empty in the middle of a stream. It's not even logical. Are you done? Thank you. Robots, AI and robots, man. It's gonna ruin the world. Anyways, um, 
yeah, just unwind, unwinding total return swaps, etc., stuff like that. There's there's still people out there that have not caught on to what's going to happen and that they needed to do this before the conversion because they are going to get wiped out. Because what's going to happen is if you're short AMC right now, you're around 430, something like that, 440. You, they're in the money right now. Most of the shorts are. But they want to cover at a buck 90. There's a lot of people that were shorting this thing at a dollar 90 and they got caught. That was the squeeze. A dollar ninety to twenty-one dollars was a squeeze, and they got caught, and it's never been corrected. So there's a lot of new positions. They rebalanced the whole way down. They bought the dip. You know now they're doing okay, but they want to get back to where they were. If AMC and Ape convert, and AMC is at four bucks, it's going to get diluted by twice the float. That's Ape going into it, right? That's a whole float going into AMC. So just think cut in half. Let's say AMC alone would be like 220, right? They want to get it to a buck 90. I've said it for a long time. Once it's converted, they're going to have an opportunity to cover with free money at under $3. That's going to push the new converted stock up, 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 but they're long it now. So they're going to cover right. They're going to cover right in time so that their longs can run. They can sell at the top. Adam Aaron raises cash. So now the bondholders get paid out a premium after they just made money on the short and made money on the long side. So, you know, like I said, to Judge Zern, the longer this goes on, the longer the bad actors in the play get to unravel their illegal positions, all the shenanigans you heard about that are actually happening. And you can reference a hundred different SEC filings uh, and fines that have happened in the past three years. I mean, look what FINRA did to MMTLP. It happens. Naked shorts fucking exist adam aaron saying there's no evidence of naked shorts is probably the most irresponsible statement i've ever heard a ceo made in my life when the company he's invested in highcroft mine is saying yes there's evidence of foul play with our shares that we've found according to share intel but this man won't have nothing to do with it now if he somebody's big globalist buddy has got their thumb on him and he can't say nothing i get it but then step down as CEO because the big plan failed anyways. You guys are not going to bankrupt AMC and wrap it up into some huge monopoly with like Amazon or something. So anyways, that's the lawsuit. Uh, prices are stable. Uh, no other news coming out. We're just waiting for Judge Zern. Uh, I highly encourage everybody to be tweeting. If you want Ape to convert, be tweeting nicely on Twitter. Say, hey, you know, respectfully, Judge Zern, please make a decision. We are sitting here with our money wrapped up in limbo. This is not necessary. We voted on it. The vote passed. AMC has to raise cash. The special master gave their opinion on that it should happen also. And the defense, not the defense, the plaintiffs sounded absolutely horrible in the hearing and all the objectors didn't even show up. One out of 10 objectors showed up from the retail side. So either way, if you're listening, Judge Learn, please respectfully, let's get this decision done so that we can move on. AMC can raise capital. We can get past this writer's guild strike. I mean, it's an industry with tens of thousands of jobs, millions of investors. There's billions of dollars on the line. There's no reason to be waiting this long. Either way, you guys have a great day. I'm going to go kick it. I'm not going to watch too much today. I'll throw a couple funny tweets out. If you notice, I've been tweeting less stock stuff lately just to kind of engage my audience with a little more light humor. So uh, if you guys like it, thanks. Please like sub the video. It helps out a lot. Like I said, after AMC, when this is all over, I'll still be here helping people. I'm going to get into some other plays. I'm going to start making some new content and make the channel a little more fun and uh, kind of unwind from the last two and a half years. So anyway, you guys take care. Froggy Stonics out.